Hey everybody, Brett from Astartes Gaming here, back with another first look video, uh, or at least a first look video of sorts. Today we're checking out Mercenary Kings, which is uh, a side-scrolling shoot 'em up sort of in the same vein as uh, like Metal Slug, that'll be releasing um, tomorrow for me, today for you guys, on Steam. Um, the press embargo is going to be lifted, I think, right alongside the game being posted to Steam. So I'll have this video up uh, first thing after that, I'll let it... Uh, I'll let it post like a minute after the embargo ends so you guys can check this out right away uh, if you want to pick it up for yourselves. Um, of course, I'll have a link in the description if you want to check it out, but uh, let's go ahead and dive on in. Um, just as a um, uh, full disclosure, I intended for this to be a first look video, but I recorded the entire thing and apparently hadn't turned my microphone on. So um, I can give you guys a little bit more... Um, insight, I guess, to how the game is played this way. Uh, I won't be learning everything for the first time as we go. Um, I am somewhat familiar with the game now, so I guess that works out better for you guys. But yeah, let's go ahead and dive on in. Uh, so there is f up to four player split screen uh, co-op, but I am obviously going to be playing by myself. I'm also playing on a Logitech controller rather than mouse and keyboard, but um, both are options. So um, Let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to overwrite these. And we'll overwrite this as well. And let's see if I hit back, it'll clear it. So, uh, no data. We'll start a new one here. You get to choose between King or Empress. Um, we'll go with King. And then you get up to four different color options. I'm going to go with the red bandana. Uh, and then you can change the name if you like, but I'll just leave it as King. And uh, the load times are actually fantastic in this game. They only take a couple seconds. Um, we're going to skip through the story stuff, though, just because I'd rather get to some actual gameplay. Uh, and you guys can, of course, uh, check out the story for yourselves uh, if you want to pick up the game. Or, um, you know, maybe we could do a full Let's Play if you guys are really keen on um, learning more about it. So, um, you move around with either the left stick or the D-pad. Um, as you may expect, left and right uh, do exactly what you would think. Up will allow you to aim toward the sky, and down will let you go prone. Um, a is your jump button. It is contextual, so if you tap A, you get a little jump. If you hold it, you get a big jump. And if you press it medium, you get a medium jump. Let's see if I can do a medium jump. There we go. Uh, B is going to be your combat roll. Um, this is on a Logitech controller, again, that is laid out like an Xbox controller. So um, when I reference the buttons, I'm referencing like an Xbox-style layout. Uh, so B is your combat roll. Uh, y is your melee attack with this fat bowie knife. You can do it while prone to. Uh, and then X is going to be the uh, you know fire button. It's also the um, interaction button as well for when you talk to people and stuff. Um, when you reload, there is this little timer here. And if you uh, press the right bumper within that green zone, you can get a quick reload. So for example, if we spend all our ammo and then uh, grab that there we can immediately start firing again so you can uh, unload bullets pretty quickly if you've got you know the hand-eye coordination to pull that off it's not hard when you are just sitting here doing it but when there's a lot of other stuff going on it can be difficult to focus on that as well uh, left bumper is going to allow you to access your inventory in your backpack right now I just have the uh, pistol and the um, transceiver which is like a radio so not really going to help us um, and then if you're playing co-op, you can press either trigger to access some quick replies so you can apologize to your teammates or whatever. Uh, so let's hop on over this way. And we're going to grab some uh, C4 real quick. And then we're going to run on over here. We'll get the C4 out. We'll drop it on the ground and jump back over here. And blow that up and I will grab the rest of this just in case. Alright, we'll combat roll under that. And oh, we got some first aid there. Let's see. We'll go this way. There is a bit of loot on this uh, first map that you might want to pick up. You can also shoot the animals if you want, but it doesn't do anything for you. They will hurt you, though, if they run into you, so that's something to look out for. Uh, we do have crafting materials here as well. There is a lot of different things that you can craft, including weapons and armor. So it's always worth picking up the resources if you see them. Uh, I think we need to go this way. Let's hop on up here, and is there anything this way before I do that? Ah, he's already gone. Uh, no, we want to go back this way, I think. I can't quite get up there that way. 
But we can this way. Uh, there is no. That is one gripe that I have is uh, if you double tap. I think if you double tap the movement, yeah. Or if you double tap the jump sometimes, uh, he goes into combat roll, which I find to be a poor design choice because you already have that assigned to its own button. Um, and I find myself doing it on accident a lot more often than I'd like just because uh, I'm trying to, you know, move or something and I think better of it and all of a sudden he combat rolls off a cliff or something. Uh, but yes, we want to jump up here and open that up, get this fabric and shoot this damn thing. Oh, they do drop food. Fantastic. Die, pig. Uh, he's going to get away. We'll go back this way. There is, I think, one more crate for us to loot before we leave this. It may have been up there, actually. Uh, there is fall damage, by the way, so you don't want to jump off things that are too high. Uh, there it is. So how do we get there? I think we need to go back up the way we came, unfortunately. I think if we go up here and then all the way down, there might be a ladder that takes us there. Yeah. Okay, and that'll drop me right here where I can open that up and then we'll leave. And we'll try to get to at least one full quest today, if not maybe, well, not quest, mission. We'll try to do two missions today, but um, at the very least one full one. Uh, so we got paid 100 bucks there. It looks like we started with five. And uh, it's going to take us to Camp Crown now, which is where you do all your upgrading and whatnot. And we'll skip this. Uh, what's in the tent? I actually haven't ever gone in there. King's Tent. Uh, apparently just a bed and a desk. So, I'll give you guys a quick tour. Um, let's jump down. We have a target dummy here where we can check damages and stuff. Uh, we have... I forget her name... We have Golden Gate, who uh, sells supplies, uh, consumables. So, um, for example, you can buy rations, uh, first aid. I'll probably grab a first aid kit just in case. And uh, that'll probably be it. Because I think my backpack's full right now. Yeah, I, I would assume it is. Um, but she also has a supply box where you can store extra consumables if you don't need them. So, for example, I have these things in my backpack right now. I can leave them in the supply box if I don't want to bring all of them with me. Or if, for example, I don't think that C4 is going to be necessary. So what I can do is I could leave that with her and then bring it on a different mission. Um, deposit, there we go. Wrong button. So that gives me an extra backpack slot in case I come across anything on the mission. Um, let's see. That's about it with her. And apparently she's crushing on me with those hearts. Uh, this lady allows us to upgrade, uh, and so mods are things that you can craft that upgrade your stats. The chef one here gives um, a higher health bonus for consumables. Hoarder, uh, let's see, guarantees enemies will drop materials, possibly rare ones. Uh, Lucky Penny increases the chances of finding rare materials. And Paratrooper slows your descent when you jump or fall off things. Um, and so these cost... $99.95 along with the materials listed below to craft them. So not only do you have to pay for it, but you also need to have the requisite materials to get these. Uh, I don't have any materials really, so I'm not going to be doing any of that today probably, but uh, <clears throat> excuse me, that is one of the many things that you can craft and we'll probably look at the other ones later. This guy uh, has the compendium which allows you to look at all the different enemy types uh, and see like what they're I guess it doesn't really tell you much other than a short description. Um, oh, it, it gives you strengths and weaknesses and stuff. So, uh, obviously more helpful when you actually face real enemies, but um, every everything shows up there, including the animals you kill. These guys allow you to customize stuff, so if you want to change your name, you can do that here. If you want to tweak your outfit color, um, you can do that as well. Um, there may be more options, but for now it's just the four that we started with. It looks like potentially you could fit a lot more on here, so maybe there's other ones we can unlock. You can also craft banners, which are just various uh, national flags. There's a couple of them. Uh, ornaments, which are cheeseburgers, pinwheels, and pizza. I don't know what these do, but you can craft them. And then this robot here will allow you to uh, join other players in multiplayer. Uh, multiplayer co-op, that is. Um... I am playing before the release of the game, so nobody's going to be online to play with me. 
Uh, and then this guy here is the one that's going to give you missions. Um, I don't think there's anybody that we've missed other than him and uh, Bobby up there. We'll talk to them in just a second. Uh, and then once we complete this first mission, they're going to add another vendor here that allows us to craft weapons and armor. So we will uh, go do that mission right now. Let's talk to this guy, Colonel B. Tasker. Um, so we'll jump to the missions list. Right now we only have the option of recruit level missions. Um, and the one we want to do to unlock the new uh, merchant is Guns and Blades. So we'll do that first. It's a rescue mission. We have to save her so that she becomes available as a merchant. Um, we have 12 minutes to complete this and the reward is $500. Uh, so we'll go ahead and accept that. It'll tell us to move out where we go ahead and jump on over here. We'll talk to Bobby and Choppy. Choppy is his helicopter and uh, he'll take us to the mission. And again, the load times are pretty great. Uh, you basically just sit through this little cutscene right here and then you're into the mission. Uh, and it gives you a nice little overview of everything you need to know before you hop in. So uh, if we head in here, um, this is where you spawn if you die. Uh, I think there's a free health kit in here as well. Yeah, but my backpack's full, so we have to leave it. Maybe later. Um, and we're going to be facing enemies immediately here. Any loot? No. We can teabag them. Uh, right. Let's keep moving. So uh, with these guys, the trick is they generally fire chest height. So as long as you... Oh, I got hit anyways. As long as you fire uh, from a prone position, you're generally okay. They will duck and adjust their fire, though. Um, so if you take too long to kill them, uh, it doesn't matter if you're prone, they will still hit you. Shoot that guy in the face. Uh, let's go up here, and oh, I didn't time that very well. I did get that reload, though. Some rations. I may need to eat those already. Yeah, let's, let's eat them just to fill our health back up. You can't take too long in this game. Um, if you lollygag, they will spawn behind you, uh, and they respawn pretty quickly, so you don't want to give them a whole lot of time to do that. Kill those little bastards. Let's shoot this guy. Let's shoot that guy since I'm already ready. Dome him. Uh, is there anything else over here? You know what? I may have missed something this way. Uh, he's already back. Uh, you know what? No, I didn't. I can't jump up that, so we'll just keep moving this way. Shoot you in the head again. And oh, we got a robot. Flying robot. I'm gonna get a quick reload in. And can I get up there? No, I think I have to backtrack for that. Actually, no, I can get up there from that. Oh boy. No, no, no. Oh, I mistimed it. Not good. Oh man, that almost cost me. Let's grab your aluminums. I'm gonna get a reload in here. And what do we got? Brass. And that robot is already back. Already back. Oh, and this one is too. Okay. Uh, we want to go this way, I believe. Kill that thing while I'm on the ladder. And let's see. I think I have to combat roll through there. Oh, look at this guy with a spear. Ah, he got me. Ah, come on. No, stop. Stop it. All right. Uh, let's grab that wood. I'm not going to kill that fox, there's no reason to. Uh, sniper? Okay. There we go. Uh, let's hop on up here. And, oh, we got a runner. Oh, another little guy there. Another runner. And we'll kill you. Am I missing something? I always feel like I'm missing something. No, I can't jump up that. Ah. Let's, uh, let's just waste that shot and get a reload. And I'll let you run away. Fantastic. Reload. Shoot these little guys. Stop jumping! Damn it. That looked like it went right through him. There we go. I took way too many shots. Uh, okay. There we go. Let's grab this. Can I get up there? Presumably not from here. But maybe if I backtrack or something. Oh no! There's a sniper there. I don't think he can shoot straight up though. Alright, got you. Uh, do I just ignore you? 
There we go. Oh, and they're already back. Um, whatever. I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, let's grab this steel. And we'll jump on over here. I don't know if I want to go down or not. I think we want to go this way. I am missing out on a lot of loot. Oh, no, no, no. That is not good. No, come on, that's so cheap. Ah, it's going to kill me. I can't get out of here. Oh, man. That is not a great placement. Oh, did I get a checkpoint? But yeah, that was kind of cheap. I don't know how I was going to handle that. There we go. A little bit easier when he comes at us from the side rather than above. Because you can only fire directly up. You can't fire at any sort of angle. Oh, really? Alright, well, at least I got your steel. Damn, taking way too much damage here. Uh, I could have used health kits to mitigate some of that, but we got killed so fast that, you know, it was kind of too late. Um, I can't get up there. Can't get up that way. Oh, there's a robot thing. Ah! I wish they didn't respawn so quickly. Where did you guys go? Ah, there you are. Ah, taking way too much damage here. But I want to see if... I don't think it's worth it. I keep wanting to backtrack and see if there's anything up there. But I just keep getting myself more and more damaged. So let's watch out for this sniper guy here. Come on. There we go. Go ahead and drop on down. Um, no, I want to go across. Cool. Okay. Keep moving. Keep moving. I think we're almost to the end. Can I jump down? No. I gotta go across and down this way. Okay. Um, right. Can't go through there, presumably. Oh, maybe I can. Oh, there's all sorts of loot in here. So let's go ahead and do it. Oh, I have to shoot through it. Wait, can I not? Ah. I think I was supposed to drop something to make it fall so I could get up there. I think I just screwed myself out of that one. What's this way? Uh, oh. No thanks. I don't want to mess with you. Let's just go this way. And I'm going to stop here and use that first aid kit. Uh, I can't believe I... can't believe I screwed myself there. Um, let's waste this guy real quick and then we'll move forward. But yeah, you do not want to be backtracking in this game, uh, as you may have noticed from uh, my struggles here. Wait, can I not get through there? Apparently I can't get through there. Did I miss something? Crap. Again, don't want to be backtracking. Which is exactly what I'm doing. Uh, maybe this way? Yeah, I think this is the way we want to go. Oh, these things. You're almost better off just taking the hit and shooting them as fast as you can, because if they turtle up, you are going to have a hell of a time killing them. Oh, boy. There we go. They don't do that much damage, so it's, it's almost worth it. And I think we're on the right track here. Ah. Oh, crap. Oh, apparently they hurt you when you uh, touch them. But yeah, you can't hurt them when they turtle up, so you're kind of limited in your attack options. Ah, I didn't jump high enough. Gotcha. Okay, uh, let's take another first aid kit before we die. And I'm going to get a quick reload in, and then I think we just want to keep moving this way. Haha, -ha, nice try. I kind of need to be up there, though. There we go. Um, can I get up there? I can. And, ah, there she is. I think that's victory. Yes. With 3 minutes and 27 seconds to spare. I actually did worse on that one than I did the first time around. But uh, the game is, I, I found, pretty challenging. And this, again, is like the first level. This is supposed to be the easiest mission. Um, we didn't get the full reward there because we actually lost money um, because we died. So, um, 
we, we could have had more. Let's go talk to our new friend here real quick. Her name's Lawless. Um, and she will allow you to craft weapons and armor. So um, the weapon crafting in this is actually pretty cool because you can put together various pieces. So uh, for example, receiver, we have this uh, Bolt 45, um, which is supposed to be a Colt 45, but uh, you can throw together um, various receivers with various barrels. And you can see up in the top le left hand corner there, uh, it'll actually piece them all together for you to show you what it'll look like. Um, you can add magazines as well, uh, different sites. We don't have any available yet. Um, different stocks, you can turn it into a rifle if you're so inclined. Uh, and you can do different uh, damage types as well. So you can do birdshot, which uh, I don't know why you'd use birdshot. You'd probably use buckshot, but birdshot. Um, so if you want to make a scattershot shotgun, you could do that. Um, let's see. Acidic projectiles. Um, cryogenic or you know, freezing projectiles. Electric, incendiary. Um, so all different elemental bullets as well as uh, you know acid, scattershot, and regular bullets. So um, you can craft all sorts of stuff here, and I presume that uh, you'll unlock more of these as you go, because obviously there are going to be sites. They wouldn't just remain empty forever. Um, but you can see here that on top of costing quite a bit to craft them, they do require um, a good chunk of material. So uh, it, it presumably is not going to be very easy to, to craft anything. Let's see. I would kind of like to make a Sturm Rifle. I don't have enough for all the pieces though. That would require three and one. So it would leave me with what? Two steel and three wood? But that is the same, so I couldn't afford both. And then the stock would be even more, or the same I suppose. Uh, maybe, well we won't have time to do another full mission today I don't think, so. Um, I suppose we'll leave it here, but I, I'm pretty impressed so far. Uh, I don't know what the price is because, again, the game hasn't released yet, but uh, I am actually very surprised at the amount of content available. I, I don't know how long the story goes, but uh, there is quite a few quests. Obviously, we've only just scratched the surface. Um, there's a lot of different crafting involved, so you can you know fully customize your gun. Um, all sorts of consumables available, and then you've got these mods. I would assume that there are more mods available later as well, because um, these are, you know, kind of generic. So maybe as you craft those, you get access to new ones. Um, and then, of course, you can play the whole thing in local co-op or uh, online co-op. So you've got all sorts of different options to run around with up to, you know, three other players and cause trouble. And uh, you can do it with custom weapons, which I think is a really nice touch. I, I love crafting and customization, and so to have it in a game like this, a, a very arcade style game, um, I'm pretty impressed. And just overall, I mean, the, the gameplay is nice. It's, you know, exactly what you'd expect from, like, a Metal Slug clone. And then the fact that they've added, you know, like, I wouldn't say RPG elements, but sort of, like, light crafting and um, various things that you generally only find in, um, you know, single-player games when this is, you know, like a four-player co-op game. Uh, it's, a, it's a nice touch. But anyways, um, I'll leave it here for today, guys. We'll keep this one kind of short. And uh, again, I'll have a link in the description if you want to check it out for yourselves. But uh, anyways, I had a great time playing some Mercenary Kings with you, and I look forward to seeing you guys back here for my uh, next First Look video.